What's going on guys? I'm here at Ron Hoover and I want to show you this really, really cool coach. Now a lot of people are going to say this looks like a standard travel trailer. This is the Adrenaline by Coachman and this has a really, really unique characteristic to it which you'll pick up on pretty quickly. So this is the Adrenaline again by Coachman but it is model number 19CB. Let's go inside this one and show you why this is such a special unit. So, this is considered a work and play model, which basically means that this is a toy hauler. So this is actually a very compact toy hauler. As you can see, this is the garage door, this is the bunk system, it's on tracks. So this top bunk can go up and these fold into the walls, just like on a traditional toy hauler. One of the really cool aspects of this unit is it combines both the RV area into the garage area as well. So if you have toys, let's say you are going hunting or you're going out somewhere and you're bringing maybe a quad or a golf cart or you know some type of ATV or something with you, you can carry it with you in the coach while you're traveling and you can simply put it outside when you get to wherever you're going. As you can see, it still has the full entertainment center, cabinetry, all of that. Both of those convert into benches and it is also a lay down bed. So let's say you got a bunch of friends and you're going to go out hunting and you're going out to a lease and you're bringing people with you. You have the ability to sleep quite a few people in this coach. Up front, you have a queen size bed. So you still have access to a master sleeping area per se. And if you have your kids, of course, they're probably going to get the back area. Next to it, you're going to have your bathroom. And it's a very good size bathroom. One of the reasons for that is this unit is really popular amongst hunters, amongst people who might go out and get real sweaty and dirty and they need a place to take a shower. So the basin on this specific shower is huge compared to most. It's probably a good four feet by three feet and it gives you a lot of room if you need to clean up. Plus, you still get your sink, your medicine cabinet, and your toilet. And this unit actually includes a porcelain toilet, which is really nice. It really has a nice kitchenette for its size as well. A lot of cabinetry, it looks really nice, real clean look, has a huge sink. So the sink on this thing is pretty massive compared to most of them that you might get on a travel trailer. But the real story here is the fact that you get this huge back area that can be used as a garage. Let's take a look at the outside of this unit. As you can see, it has double axles on it. Here's the garage in the back. It's very tall. LED lighting, top and bottom. Has a fuel tank as well, so if you need to carry fuel with you for, you know, your toys, your quads, your golf carts, whatnot, you actually have fuel tank here as well as a pump system to pump fuel out of it into the tank of whatever you're going to be carrying with you. Your connections are right over here. Dry weight on this unit, 6,173 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating on this unit is 9,561 pounds with a cargo capacity of 3,329 pounds. It has an interesting storage here. This is generally going to be designed for a generator and it wouldn't have to be a real powerful generator. Yeah, and this is a pre-owned unit. This is a 2016 Coachman, so they're probably willing to work with you on the price of something like this. Most people who would get this unit and trade it in would probably upgrade just to a larger toy hauler. Generally, when you have a toy hauler, you need a toy hauler, so you might go to something like this, which is also a pre-owned unit as well. This is the Spartan 300 series, and this is also a toy hauler. Let's quickly go inside so you can see. This is also a pre-owned unit. You can see this one also has a dedicated front bedroom area. So you have these slide doors right here, which give you some privacy up front. TV, entertainment center. This one has full theater seating. Really, really wide couch cushions too. These are about the widest I've seen actually. They look like they're about three feet wide cushions. So you get a lot of room. This one has a very nice kitchen. Interesting thing about this particular unit, it feels almost like a fifth wheel toy hauler. The sofas here are on a slide out, which give you more room in here, but it feels much bigger even though it's a travel trailer. And it has a good sized garage. So the garage in the back of this unit appears to be about 10 feet long. So 
quite a bit of space. If you have mountain bikes, if you have four wheelers, if you have anything like that, a small golf cart, you should easily be able to fit it back here. Plus it has its own entry exit door in the back. And this unit can also be set up as a patio in the back. So you can lower this down, raise the rails around it and kind of close off that area. Again, typical with toy haulers, you're gonna have the rail system here that allows you to lower these sofas, which kind of turn into your dinette area, as well as a bed above it that comes down and turns into a bunk bed. Storage, you have your cable hookups and everything for a TV there as well. Here's the master bathroom. Pretty good size master bathroom. It's got that compact shower tub combination unit. I'm not too fond of those but it's not a bad size room. Anyways guys, I wanted to walk you into this unit as well. I don't know how much they're asking for this one, but I wanted to show you the difference between a larger toy hauler travel trailer versus more of the compact size right there. I know a lot of people look for these, especially again, if they're into boondocking and they're gonna bring some toys with them and they need a place to store them, yet they don't feel comfortable towing a fifth wheel or they don't prefer a fifth wheel, or maybe they just need the back of the truck to haul stuff and carry things and they don't have room for an overhang of a fifth wheel. Let's check out the weight capacities of this unit. I don't know if you can see it, but the maximum payload is 4,282 pounds. Let's look at the gross vehicle weight rating. This one has a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,150 pounds. So if this thing is fully loaded with all your toys, this thing could be a very heavy travel trailer. A dually would probably be the preferred truck to haul something like this because that can be pretty heavy. Not sure what this is here for, but this has massive, massive storage underneath. Really, really large storage. It looks like they were using this compartment to kind of isolate from something else because the door on the other side is blocked by this wall that they put there. So whoever owned this before did some customization to it for sure. And here's a shot of the back of this unit. So you can see the garage door, LED lighting on this one as well. So yeah, guys, just want to show you these two units. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again soon.